What's up, everybody? This is Jeremy with Airborne Advantage. We're talking today about the February 2nd sunsetting of Before You Fly. No longer an app that we can use, but when you click on it, it will take you to the FAA's website where you'll find, I believe now, up to 12 different vendors that can provide you with the Before You Fly services, along with uh, airspace clearances and NOTAMs. Clicking on this, of course, I went to the first one on the list, the airspace link, which takes to the AirHub portal. From here, you can create a mission, you can scout out what the NOTAMs are, you can check airspace status, you can also see what's going on with stadiums around you for any type of TFR that's there. Allow your notification here to give you your current location and start planning an operation. As you can tell, just uh, in downtown Syracuse, there's a ton of restrictions here. Uh, we've got stadiums, we've got TFRs, we've got some 200 foot shelves here. I'm gonna try to plan an operation just to the south southeast of my location here in one of these 200 foot shelves. Now with this, I should be allowed to create a mission and get auto approval from the ATC facility to go up to 200 feet AGL. Now the important thing with this is, this does not include going over the height of a building. This is from the ground from where you took off. I'm gonna take a peek at the NOTAMs. I see that there's the JWA wireless dome up ahead within three miles. I'm gonna go check their website. I'm gonna make sure that there's no events happening right now because there is a TFR within an hour before and an hour after an event, then you can not fly your drone. So creating this operation, I'm gonna drop my pin here in the 200 foot shelf and I'm gonna create a line, a box or a circle, something that goes outside of this uh, 200 foot part and also into the uncontrolled airspace to show you what that looks like. By clicking on play an operation, I can bring up a menu here. I can title the operation. Today I'm gonna to go with uh, demo just to show what it looks like. And I'm gonna have commercial 107, my max altitude obviously because it's a 200 foot shelf is gonna be 200 feet. You can select rectangle, polygon, circle. I'm gonna go with a rectangle here and I'm gonna move that to my 200 foot shelf just inside here. So what this is gonna do is create a area where I'm planning an operation and on the part that's controlled, I will go ahead and try to seek an auto approval to go up to 200 feet. And again, that's AGL. And because this is controlled airspace, that does not cover going over any of the buildings. So here we are. I'm going to go with a Lance notice. I'm going to say, okay, great. Save that. Oh, my mission is not complete yet because I need an automatic approval from air traffic control. I'll submit that and voila, it's done. Now, it also gives me my stadium uh, airspace advisory and the portion that's in uncontrolled airspace as well. So I go to the website. I'm going to check to make sure there's no... Uh, events happening right now. Uh, in some cases, it will actually tell you on this uh, app if there's anything going on at that area. But I can come in and I can manage this operation. I can set it for up to 90 days in advance. But when I'm done with it, I'm going to want to go ahead and delete this so that I can create another mission area so that I don't have more than one active mission areas. Again, this is only once I'm done with my operation. And that's what we'll talk about next. By clicking on the approved section, the three tabs in this box, I can hit cancel. And once I hit cancel, it'll give me a notification saying this cannot be undone. You'll no longer be able to operate in this area. Well, since I've completed my mission, I no longer want to operate in there. I'll go to proceed and that cancels the portion inside the controlled airspace. Now, from this point, I can cancel the rest of the mission. Uh, that's fine. I don't technically know if it's required, but as a courtesy to other drone operators, I usually go ahead and cancel just to make sure that um, if anyone else is out there, they know that I'm done with my mission and that uh, they can have access to that area if need be. As always, guys, remember, and girls, to stay safe. Uh, don't do anything stupid with your drone. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of uh, people in the news lately that have been uh, out there doing stuff that... Uh, makes us all look bad. I'll be a, a, a few very small percentage of people, but let's keep this alive. Good luck and have fun, everybody.